Hi, my name is Mike Daniels with Med One Group. I'm excited to present to you today the Blue Chip Power Pro Elite Mattress. I've been in the mattress support surface business for over 25 years, and I think this is a great product that you're really going to like. This is a low air loss therapy mattress that will work with a variety of your patients. Today we're going to go through the features and benefits of that mattress, as well as a general overview. This is a very versatile mattress for your patients. It has a 1,000 pound weight capacity and it comes in a variety of widths, from 36 inch to 42 inch to 48 inch sizes. The mattress has superior pressure redistribution through immersion and envelopment. The mattress also provides alternating pressure therapy, which will be good for your patient to be able to offload that pressure and promote healing. The mattress cover on the Blue Chip Power Pro Elite is a stretchable cover. So this will allow greater immersion into the mattress. It is a low friction, low shear cover so that it won't pull at the patient's skin. Should this become soiled, you can use your standard hospital wipes to wipe down the mattress. Also on this mattress, there's a 360 degree zipper which will allow us to replace the cover as needed. The cover also includes a rain guard for the zipper, keeping liquid from penetrating inside the mattress to keep your mattress clean. And now let's take a look at the inside of the mattress. With the mattress deflated, I'm going to pull this cover back. The first thing you'll notice is this quilted design. This is done on purpose for patient comfort. As the patient lays on this, this is much more comfortable than laying directly on the air sacs themselves. If we look at the air sacs, the mattress is comprised of 18 air sacs, 9 inches high. Each air sac has lasered holes identified by a blue dot. Each dot is where the low air loss comes out of the mattress for the microclimate feature. If we look at the side view of the air sac, you'll notice that it has a split cell design. What this means is that if you lose power or if you need to do a patient transfer in the facility, just know that the mattress will only partially deflate. The bottom half of the air cell will maintain its air. And now let's look at the bottom side of the mattress. Each mattress has six tie down straps and four corner straps so you can safely and securely fasten it to your bed frame. Next we're going to connect the control unit to it and inflate the mattress. And now let's connect the mattress to the control unit. You'll notice there's a hose cap. During a patient transport, you'll want to cover your hoses with this cap to seal in the air during that transport. Now let's go ahead and move over and connect this to the unit. You simply want to push in a firm push in. You might hear a click or a snap to ensure it is properly installed. Turn your mattress on. You'll notice that the mattress begins to quickly fill up with air. Now that we've connected the mattress to the control unit, let's take a closer look at the keypad. With the mattress already on in an operate mode, the next key over is our auto firm. Auto firm is used for patient repositioning. To engage this feature, simply push the button and the light will come on. In about 10 or 15 seconds, this will become a very firm mattress. It is easier to move a patient on a firm surface than it is a soft surface. When you go to reposition your patient, allow 10 to 15 seconds reposition your patient and then ideally you want to turn this feature off. If you forget, there is a 20 minute fail safe where it will automatically turn itself off if you do not remember to turn it off for your patient. Next to that auto firm feature is our mode key or our therapy key. You have your choice of alternating pressure or static. As a standard default, the mattress will remain in a static mode. To engage alternating pressure, simply push the mode button until the alternate light lights up. Alternating pressure therapy is a proven clinical therapy for over 25 years. With the mattress in alternating pressure, every air sac inside will adjust. One will be firmer, one will be softer. It's adjustable as well through a timer. We can set the cycle timer to however often we would like it to cycle. Your range on that is anywhere from five minutes to 10 minutes, 
to 15 minutes, 20, 25, all the way up to 30 minutes. It is adjustable for a reason. If your patient finds that the movement keeps them awake at night, you can simply turn the feature off or you can adjust it to up to 30 minutes. So only adjust once every 30 minutes, twice an hour, allowing your patient to be able to rest properly. Next to our mode therapy button is our lockout feature. Lockout feature is an automatic lockout where if the control panel has not been touched in two minutes, it will automatically be in lockout. We all know there are times when family members come by and they want to make adjustments, which we do not want them to do. In order to keep them from making those adjustments, the lockout feature is automatically loaded. As a nurse or a caregiver, if you'd like to remove that feature, simply hold the button down for three seconds. The light will go off and you can now make your adjustments. Next to the lockout feature is our bariatric button. Our bariatric button is for someone who wants a little bit of a firmer mattress. If they like a firmer mattress, simply push this button, the light will come on, and this will make it a, a firmer mattress for your patient for comfort. Next to the bariatric button is our soft and firm keys. You will need to set the pressures in the mattress to the patient's weight. Med1 has provided a weight patient setting sticker on the top. Match your patient's weight within that range to the number of lights listed. You will go to your soft and firm keys, simply adjust to achieve the number of lights you need. Once you've adjusted them, there's no need to make another adjustment unless there's a dramatic weight loss or weight gain. Above the soft and firm keys is our service indicator section. Under the service indicator section, there are three categories. There's low pressure, there's power failure, and there is service light. Under a low pressure alarm, you always want to check your air hoses on the control unit to make sure they're properly connected. Under the power failure indicator, you want to check your electrical cord both going from the control unit to the wall to ensure you're properly connected for power. If you do receive a service light, you'll need to call your Med1 office for repair. I will now demonstrate for you a power failure. If you lose power, immediately a power indicator light will begin to flash under power failure with a chime. You'll need to check your electrical cord, but you can also silence the alarm so it does not continue to beep. In a CPR situation, locate the CPR valve at the top of the mattress on the patient's right side. Get the valve and turn it one click to the right to release the air. Turn off your control unit. Once you've resuscitated your patient, Close the valve by another simple twist. Turn your control unit back on. When the mattress is no longer needed for your patient, simply disconnect the hoses from the control unit. Med1 provides you with a bag to put the mattress in to keep from cross-contamination. Once your mattress has been properly sealed in the bag, please call Med1 for a pickup. This concludes our demonstration of the Blue Chip Power Pro Elite Mattress. If you have any questions or are interested in renting this mattress, please consult your local Med1 office. Thanks for watching.